What is up guys, Delboy here. After what seemed like months of talking, we finally have some movement in the heavyweight division. Anthony Joshua is going to be defending his IBF, WBA and WBO heavyweight titles against Jarrell Miller on the 1st of June at the Madison Square Garden in New York. Now, I have already shared my opinion on this fight previously, but to summarise, is it the fight I wanted to see next for Anthony Joshua? No, but while Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder have their rematch, Joshua needs to stay active, and I don't think Joshua versus Jarrell Miller in the United States, away from home, is a bad fight. I think it's okay. It's fairly solid, and Jarrell Miller is considered a top 10 contender across numerous different ranking systems, including the Ring Magazine. And my criteria for champions is quite simple. If you can't unify, either fight a mandatory challenger or a universally recognised top 10 contender. And at worst case, that is what Anthony Joshua is doing by taking on Jarrell Miller. So in short, is it the fight we want to see? No. But is it the worst fight in the world? No. My main gripe with this fight is the fact that it's in June, to be honest with you. You know, a long way away, and Joshua last fought in September, so by the time the fight rolls around, you know, he would have been out of the ring for quite some time. And I don't like to see that, to be quite honest. Joshua is in his prime, and I don't really want to see long layoffs in between fights. But regardless, I'm pleased that the heavyweight division is now starting to move forwards. Hopefully now we can get the Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder rematch sorted as well. Hopefully that gets finalised and then the winner of both fights fight each other to unify towards the end of 2019. Will that happen? I mean, this is boxing, so probably not. But, you know, we can have our fingers crossed, we can hope, we can pray... Let's hope all this works out. Let's hope we have a unified champion by the end of the year. Because, you know, after Wilder and Fury fight, after AJ and Miller fight, there's really no excuses at that point. In an ideal world, we should have an undisputed champion by the end of 2019. As I said, let's keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best. As for guys Joshua could have fought instead of Miller, I mean... Would I have rather seen Joshua fight somebody else in the interim? Um, I'll be honest, I was never that keen on a Dillian White rematch. Just because I've seen that fight already. And although Dillian White has improved, so has Anthony Joshua. I just think that fight can wait, to be quite honest. So I actually prefer the Jarrell Miller fight to the Dillian White fight. Just because it's something different. And I'm also intrigued to see how Joshua looks away from home in his opponent's backyard. I think that's an interesting factor going into this fight. And also, although I think this is unlikely to happen just because of how bad Miller's defence is, but let's say Jarrell Miller has like a world-class chin and he's still there in the championship rounds. How does Joshua respond? Because one thing's for certain, you would imagine Miller will make Joshua fight at a higher pace than Joseph Parker. Joshua done the rounds pretty well against Joseph Parker, but Joshua wasn't made to work. I mean, in the Klitschko fight, Joshua was made to work and he gassed badly at times. What happens if Miller makes it a rough and tough fight and is still there towards the end of the fight? How does Joshua respond in that situation? You know, that could be uh, very interesting to see. I do doubt whether Miller can extend this towards the second half of the fight, just because of how bad his defence is, but you never know. So I do actually prefer this Miller fight to the White fight. However, I would have preferred to see Anthony Joshua fight Luis Ortiz, um, because Luis Ortiz ultimately is a power-punching southpaw, with good boxing ability and a vast amateur background. I do feel a lot of people out there overrate Luis Ortiz, but nevertheless, I still see him as a top 10 heavyweight, and I see him as a more proven commodity than Jarrell Miller. So I would rather see Joshua fight Luis Ortiz, but it is what it is. 
I don't think Miller's a terrible opponent for Joshua. Like I said, my issue with this fight is the fact that it's in June. Apart from that, I'm not really that bothered, in all honesty. How do you guys see this fight? Are you bothered about it? Uh, will you watch it? Are you excited? Do you think Jarrell Miller could pull off an upset? Share your thoughts below. I'm interested to hear your opinions. Peace.